Victor Anthony Raj. He has pursued his bachelor's, master's and MPhil in physics. He then went on to pursue his PhD in physics at the University of Madras as well. He then went on to work as a lecturer at Tiruvalluvar Arts and Science College and Idia Engineering College for Women. Since the year 2006, he works as the lecturer and assistant professor at Loyola College Chennai. With regard to research, he has published several papers in international journals, namely Radio Wave Propagation over Salem, Linear and Non-Linear Optical Properties of Pure and Doped Lelenium Malate Single Crystals, and many more. He has also attended several conferences and seminars, namely International Conference on Material Science and Technology, National Conference on Higher Education at Crossroads held at Loyola College, National Seminar on Crystal Growth 12 held at VIT University and many more. Welcome to DTH channel, lecture 3 of Astronomy and Astrophysics. This lecture is about properties of outer planets in our solar system. I am going to present this lecture in the following order. Introduction about uh, the outer planetary system, Jupiter, Saturn, properties of Uranus, properties of Neptune and finally, the summary of the discussions uh, we are going to have. Our outer planetary system consists of four planets. Inner planet inner solar system also consists of four planets. They are namely Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Inner planets are solid planets. All the inner planets are like uh, Earth, but the outer planets are uh, giant gaseous dust planet because these planets are formed from the dust particles uh, in the universe. At the time of explosion, all the solid objects uh, formed closer to our sun, the gaseous objects are far apart. Uh, in our uh, solar system. So, the gaseous planets are known as uh, giant gaseous dust planets because of their bigger size and gaseous composition. These four planets are situated 5.203 astronomical unit from sun, 9.537 astronomical unit uh, Saturn is situated 9.537 astronomical unit from Sun and uh, Uranus and Neptune are 19.191 and 30.069 astronomical unit uh, distance from Sun. This is how uh, our outer solar system comprises. Coming to uh, this image, this image was taken during the course of uh, a 13 second exposure at the time the International Space Station makes a trial of light in the sky as the station appears to pass among. This is the image taken during the course of 13 second exposure of a telescope from earth. This image, in this image, the International Space Station makes a trial of light in the sky as the station appears to pass among the stars of the Milky Way galaxy. So, this is uh, the tube light like uh, object is our International Space Station. You can see the Jupiter planet next to that uh, International Space Station. The space station is moving along with the stars in our Milky Way galaxy. A beautiful image uh, obtained by a telescope uh, from Earth. So, here you can see the Jupiter. Jupiter uh, closest image uh, is given here. This image was taken by Hubble Space Telescope uh, during taken on June 27, 2019. This image reveals uh, the gaint planet trademark uh, of red spot. This red spot is the trademark of uh, Jupiter. This red spot would have occurred because of the impact of uh, some asteroids, comets like that. This is the idea of astronomers about this red spot. 
this red spot is the trademark of uh, Jupiter. So, these two images gives uh, a nice picture about uh, the Jupiter. This Jupiter is the fifth planet uh, from sun by distance. It is about uh, 481 million kilometer away from sun. In the introduction part, I told uh, the Jupiter is some 5.203 astronomical unit. Here, it is clearly given that it is 481 million kilometer away from the sun. Then this Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Mass of the Jupiter is more than twice as mass massive as all other planets combined. Then the stripes and swells you find in Jupiter. This is uh, the stripes uh, and swells you find in uh, Jupiter <coughs> are actually cold windy clouds of ammonia and water floating in an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter's iconic red spot is a giant storm bigger than earth that has raged for hundreds of years. So, that red giant spot uh, is raged for hundreds of years. This Jupiter is surrounded by dozens of moons. Jupiter also has several rings but these rings are uh, not uh, as famous as the rings of Saturn because uh, in planets uh, Saturn is very famous for its rings. This Jupiter's rings are very faint and made of dust uh, and other particles. Coming to the size of uh, Jupiter, radius of this Jupiter is 69,911 kilometer that is Jupiter is 11 times wider than earth. From an average distance of 778 million kilometers, Jupiter is 5.2 astronomical unit away from the sun. From this distance, uh, sunrise takes 43 minutes to reach Jupiter. So, in 43 minutes, uh, sunlight will reach uh, the Jupiter. Coming to the orbit of uh, Jupiter and rotation of uh, Jupiter, Jupiter has the shortest day among the planets in the solar system. One day on Jupiter takes just 10 hours, about 10 hours. This is the time taken by Jupiter to rotate itself, to spin around once. And Jupiter makes a complete orbit around the sun in about 12 Earth years. So, in Earth, if it is uh, one year, Jupiter takes 12 years to complete uh, its orbital motion approximately 4,333 Earth days uh, are the time taken by Jupiter to complete uh, one rotation in the orbit. Its equator is tilted with respect to its orbital path around the sun by just 3 degrees. This means uh, Jupiter uh, does not have seasons as extreme as other planets have. Jupiter spins nearly upright uh, and does not have uh, any extreme uh, seasons as other planets have. This is uh, another view of Jupiter taken in the year uh, 1974 by the spacecraft Pioneer 11. This Jupiter image was taken from above its north pole, a spectacular image which reveals the swells and bands uh, of Jupiter. Now, coming to the structure of Jupiter. Jupiter is composed of uh, mostly hydrogen and helium as our sun has. Deep in the atmosphere of Jupiter, pressure and temperature increases compressing the hydrogen gas into a liquid. This gives Jupiter the largest ocean in the solar system, a ocean which is made up of hydrogen instead of water. So, Jupiter is a planet. Uh, which has largest ocean in the solar system uh, comp comprising uh, hydrogen instead of water. Scientists think that at depth uh, perhaps halfway to the planet center, the pressure becomes so great that electrons are squeezed off the hydrogen atoms uh, making the liquid electrically conducting like uh, metal. Jupiter comprises of largest ocean of hydrogen. 
those hydrogens will become uh, ions because of the high pressure uh, in the deep of the atmosphere of the Jupiter. So, Jupiter has uh, electrically conducting uh, liquid. Jupiter's fastest rotation is thought to drive electrical currents uh, in this region generating the planet's powerful magnetic field. So, the reason for uh, the existence of magnetic field in Jupiter is reasoned by this squeezing of the hydrogen atom releasing the electrons. Coming to the surface of the Jupiter, Jupiter does not have a true surface because uh, outer part of our solar system has four planets. Those four planets are uh, completely gaseous and dust planet. So, scientists have not found any surface on these four planets. The planet is mostly swirling gases and liquids. While a spacecraft would have nowhere to land on Jupiter, it would not be able to fly through unscatched either. The extreme pressures and temperatures deep inside the planet crush, melt and vaporize spacecraft trying to fly into the planet. So, Jupiter has uh, no surface uh, for the spacecraft uh, to land. Atmosphere of the Jupiter. Jupiter's appearance is a pattern of colorful cloud bands and spots. The gas planet likely has three distinct cloud layers in its skies that taken together span about uh, 71 kilometers. The top cloud in the three layers is probably made up of ammonia ice, while the middle layer is likely made up of ammonium hydrosulfate crystal. Then the innermost layer uh, may be made up of water ice and vapor. Thus, Jupiter atmosphere consists of uh, three layers. The vivid colors you see in the thick bands across uh, the Jupiter's uh, atmosphere uh, may be from the plumes of sulfur and phosphorus containing gaseous rings uh, from the planet's warmer interior. So, this is uh, the dark hot spot in the false color image from NASA's uh, Kazani spacecraft uh, in a window deep into Jupiter's atmosphere. In this atmosphere, you can see the colors uh, due to the three layers of uh, the atmosphere. Uh, these are the colors of Jupiter uh, obtained from NASA's uh, Cassini spacecraft. Coming to the moons of Jupiter, uh, four largest moons are there for Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. These four are the largest moon uh, first observed by Galileo Galilei in the year uh, 1610 using an early version of uh, the telescope. Apart from these four largest moon, uh, Jupiter has 53 confirmed moons and 26 provisional moons awaiting confirmation of discovery. So, Jupiter uh, has uh, many number of moons uh, in the solar system. These four moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto are known today as the Galilean satellites and they are uh, some of the most fascinating destinations in our solar system. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system ever bigger than the planet Mercury. Then Callisto's very few small craters indicate a small degree of current surface activity in our solar system. Then in Europa, liquid water ocean is uh, expecting a liquid water ocean with the ingredients for life uh, may lie beneath the frozen crust of Europa, making it a tempting place to explore. So, like this, Jupiter moons are mostly explored for extraterrestrial life uh, in our solar system. This is a montage of new horizon images of Jupiter and its uh, volcanic moon uh, Io. This is the planet Jupiter. This is that volcanic moon Io taken during the spacecraft's uh, Jupiter flyby in early 2007. 
and this is uh, the spectacular image of uh, another uh, spectacular image of Jupiter's moon Eo taken on 3rd July 1999. During its closest to pass to Eo since its orbit insertion in late 1995. Then this is uh, the fascinating surface of uh, Jupiter's icy moon Europa uh, looms large in this newly reprocessed color uh, view uh, made from images taken by NASA's uh, Galileo spacecraft in the 1990s. This is uh, the processed image of uh, Jupiter moon uh, Europa. This is another spectacular uh, image of uh, Jupiter's moon uh, Callisto obtained by Galileo which has been orbiting Jupiter since uh, December 1995. This picture was taken in May 2001. This is the only complete globular image of uh, Callisto. This image was obtained by Galileo. Then this one uh, is the natural color view of uh, Ganymede from the Galileo space group spacecraft during its first encounter with the satellite. Like this, uh, all the four prominent moons of Jupiter uh, are explored widely in search of extraterrestrial life in our solar system. The next planet in our outer uh, solar system is uh, Saturn. This is the sixth planet from Sun uh, with respect to distance and this is the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn is adorned with uh, a dazzling system of icy rings uh, which is a fascinating thing in our solar system. This Saturn is unique among the planets in our solar system because of uh, its rings. It is not the only planet to have rings, but uh, none are as spectacular or as complex as uh, Saturn's rings. Like fellow gas giant Jupiter, Saturn is a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter and Saturn both are made of, of uh, hydrogen and uh, helium. This Saturn is surrounded by more than 60 known moons. Then the Saturn is home to some of the most fascinating landscapes in our solar system. From the jets of water that spray from uh, Enceladus to the methane lakes on smoggy Titan. Titan is uh, the moon of uh, Saturn. The Saturn system is a rich source of scientific discovery and still holds many mysteries uh, in our solar system. The farthest planet from Earth discovered by unaided human eye is Saturn, which has been known since ancient times. This planet is named for the Roman god of agriculture and wealth, uh, who was also the father of uh, Jupiter. This is the spectacular uh, image of Jupiter, sorry, Saturn with rings. The latest view of Saturn from uh, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captures uh, executive details of uh, the ring system of uh, Saturn. Another spectacular view of Saturn with rings obtained by Cassini spacecraft uh, uh, delivered a glorious view of Saturn taken while the spacecraft was in uh, Saturn's shadow. Then coming to the size and distance of Saturn, uh, Saturn has a radius of 58,233 kilometers. This is nine times wider than Earth. Uh, that is, if the Earth were the size of a nickel, Saturn would be about big as a volleyball. From an average distance of 1.4 billion kilometers, Saturn is 9.5 astronomical unit away from the Sun. From this distance, sunlight takes 80 minutes to travel uh, to Saturn. So, sunlight will reach Saturn uh, in 80 minutes. Orbit and rotation of the Saturn. Saturn has a second shortest day in the solar system. One day on Saturn takes uh, only 10.7 hours. Uh, in Jupiter, it just 10 hours. In Saturn, it is 10.7 uh, hours. And Saturn makes a complete orbit around the Sun in about 29.4 Earth years. Uh, that is, uh, 10,756 Earth days constitutes uh, one year uh, in Saturn. Uh, then coming to the axis of rotation of Saturn, it is tilted by 26.73 degrees with respect to its orbit around the Sun, which is similar to Earth's uh, 23.5 degree tilt. This means that, uh, like Earth, Saturn also experiences uh, seasons. 
structure of Saturn is this Saturn is mostly ma mostly made up of uh, hydrogen and helium. At Saturn's center is a dense core of metals uh, like iron and nickel surrounded by rocky material and other compounds solidified by the intense pressure and heat. It is enveloped by liquid metallic hydrogen inside a layer of liquid hydrogen similar to Jupiter's core but considerably smaller. Coming to the atmosphere of Saturn, uh, Saturn's atmosphere is blanketed with clouds that appear as faint stripes, jet streams and storms. The planet is uh, many different shades of yellow, brown and grey. Winds in the upper atmosphere reach 1600 feet per second that is 500 meters per second in the equatorial region. Such a fast wind will take place in Saturn's atmosphere. In contrast, the strongest hurricane force winds on earth top out at 110 kilometers per second and the pressure the same kind you feel when you dive deep underwater is so powerful it squeezes gas into liquid. Saturn's North Pole has an interesting atmospheric feature, a six-sided uh, jet stream. This hexagonal shaped pattern was first noticed in images from the Voyager 1 spacecraft and has been more closely observed by the Cassini spacecraft uh, since. Spanning about 30,000 kilometers across, uh, this hexagon shaped atmosphere is a wave jet stream of winds about 322 kilometers per hour with a massive rotating storm at the center. There is no weather feature like it anywhere else in the solar system. So, such a different weather system exists in the atmosphere of Saturn. Coming to the rings of Saturn are thought to be pieces of comets, asteroids or shattered moons that broke up before they reached the planet, torn apart by Saturn's powerful gravity. So, these objects uh, makes the rings of uh, the Saturn. They are made of billions of small chunks of ice and rock coated with another material such as dust. The ring particles, uh, the size of the ring particles mostly range from uh, tiny dust sized icy grains to chunks as big as a house. So, a few particles are uh, as large as uh, the mountains. So, such wide variety size of particles are there in the rings of Saturn. The rings would look mostly white if you look at them before the cloud tops of Saturn and interestingly each ring orbits at a different speed around the planet. Saturn's ring system extends up to uh, 282,000 kilometers from the planet at the vertical height is typically about 10 meters uh, in the main rings. These rings are named alphabetically in the order they were discovered. The rings are relatively close to each other with the exception of a gap measuring 4700 kilometers wide called the Cassini division that separates rings A and B. Starting at Saturn and moving outward uh, that is the D ring, then C ring, B ring, Cassini division, A ring, F ring, G ring and finally the E ring. This is how the rings of Saturn are named. Moons of Saturn. Saturn is a home to a vast variety of uh, intriguing and unique worlds of moons. From the hazy shroud surface of Titan uh, to crater riddled Pobi, each of Saturn's moon tells another piece of the story surrounding the Saturn system. Currently, Saturn has 53 confirmed moons with 29 additional provisional moons uh, awaiting confirmation. Among these moons, Titan and Phoebe are the prominent moons uh, researched mostly by the astronomers. This is the image of uh, Saturn's uh, moon. This is uh, the stunning image of uh, Saturn's Enceladus uh, obtained on October 9, 2008. Uh, just after coming within 25 kilometers of uh, the surface of uh, Enceladus. NASA's Cassini captured this stunning mosaic 
as a spacecraft sped away from this geologically active moon of uh, Saturn. The next moon is uh, Titan. This image is also captured by Cassini spacecraft then showing ni night and day in the northern hemisphere of uh, Saturn's uh, largest moon. Coming to the next planet in our solar system, Uranus, seventh planet from Sun with third largest diameter in our solar system. Uranus is very cold and windy. This ice giant is surrounded by 13 faint rings and 27 small moons as it rotates at a nearly 90 degree angle from the planet of its orbit. This unique tilt makes Uranus appear to spin on its side, orbiting the sun like a rolling ball. This is the only planet in our solar system uh, rolls like a ball in its orbit. The first planet found with the aid of a telescope, uh, Uranus was discovered in uh, 1781 by astronomer William uh, Herschel. This planet was named for Uranus, the Greek god of the sky. Size and distance, its radius is about 25,362 kilometer. Uranus is four times wider than Earth. From an average distance of 2.9 billion kilometers, Uranus is 19.8 astronomical units away from the sun. From this distance, uh, sunlight takes two hours and 40 minutes uh, to reach Uranus. Uh, Uranus orbits uh, in an elliptical orbit. One day an Uranus takes 17 hours and Uranus makes a complete orbit around the sun in about 84 earth years. That is uh, 30,687 earth days uh, comprises one year in Uranus. This is the only planet whose equator is nearly at a right angle to its orbit with a tilt of 97.77 degrees possibly by this tilt uh, would have been occurred because of the result of a collision with an earth size object uh, long ago. Coming to rotation, orbit and rotation, this unique tilt causes the most extreme seasons in the solar system. For nearly a quarter of each Uranian year, the sun shines directly over each pole, plunging the other half of the planet into a 21 year long dark winter. Uranus is also one of just two planets that rotate in the opposite direction than most of the other planets. The other planet which is uh, rotating is uh, Venus. The next planet in our solar system is uh, Neptune. This was discovered in uh, 1846. Neptune is dark, cold and very windy. Neptune has uh, a thick windy atmosphere. This Neptune has six rings. Uh, Neptune uh, is an ice giant. This Neptune one day is 16 hours. Uh, then one year in Neptune is 165 Earth years to go around one. That is long year uh, in Neptune. So, this is the image of Neptune obtained by Voyager 2 spacecraft, the cloud streaks across uh, Neptune. Like this, uh, four outer planets are gaseous planet in our uh, solar system. Now, coming to the summary of the discussion we had, we have seen today, Jupiter is the fifth planet from our sun by a distance of uh, 481 milli milli million kilometers away from sun. Jupiter has the shortest day in the solar system. Then uh, Saturn is adorned with the dazzling system of icy rings. The Saturn is not the only planet to have uh, rings, but none are as spectacular or as complex as Saturn's. Uranus, an ice giant, is surrounded by 13 faint uh, rings and 27 small moons as it rotates at a nearly 90 degree angle from the planar fits orbit. The first planet found with the aid of a telescope Uranus was discovered in uh, 1781. Then the last planet in our solar system is Neptune. This is dark, cold and very windy. It is the last of the planet in our solar system. It is more than 30 times uh, as far from the sun as Earth is. Uh, like this, uh, the four gaseous giant planets constitutes the outer planet, outer part of our solar system. These are the references uh, you can uh, refer uh, to learn more about uh, the four planets of our outer solar system. Thank you.